We are Atlanta's luxury marketing plus brand design agency. So first you kind of have to make sure what type of business strategy you even need. If you are a new startup business, of course your strategies are gonna be focused on building a new business from the ground up. If you are already in business and you're an existing company, your strategy is growing or marketing or managing or financing at that point. It's not as simple as you know, figuring out a strategy for startup because you're already operating. Um, all right, so you would definitely want to start there first. Um, another thing you want to focus on is those long-term goals. No company can even operate or grow without goals. You don't want to focus on what I want to do tomorrow or what do I want to do next week, next year. You want to think three to five years out when it comes to developing a great business strategy. Of course, you have to consider where you are now and where you want to grow to for the next 12 months. But the overall goal is to figure out where you want to be in three to five years and figure out those growth strategies from there. So I suggest Figuring out what type of strategy, you know, of course, is it a new business or is it existing or expanding? And then go right into those long-term goals. Where do I want to take this brand within the next five years? Do I want to continue selling the same products and services or do I want to implement some new products and services? You know, go through that whole mindset. You know, do I want to start by myself and then eventually hire new team members or a whole new fleet of people to work for me? Figure that out in your mind first. It does not require you to go through all of the strategies year from year. But what it does is it makes you pivot from just thinking now I need to get this done now. I need money to do this now. And it puts you in like a, in a mindset of planning, strategic planning, basically. You're thinking, okay, I need 50000 or I need 100000 right now. But once I do that, I'll be able to grow that into 1.5 mil or whatever that number looks like because you thought it through. You know, if you're selling products ABC already for $10, $20 a piece or whatever, and you know, hey, there's a kit I could put together or there's a membership or there's a special subscription, there's something that I can utilize this product for and make double my profit on it. But I won't be able to do that to my second year of operation, for example. So you know automatically, hey, if I add just this one or two products or this one or two partnerships or whatever with what I'm already doing in two years, I can be doubling my profit for this. So that's kind of like the mindset that you will be able to put yourself in. You don't have to depend on nobody else. Um, you know, of course, we do business coaching, but you don't have to depend on anybody um, to help do that. You just take your one idea and stretch it all the way out as far as it can go. And in your day to day operations, you should be, again, operating from those long term goals. If you put a plan in motion, it should pretty much make your, your metrics simple at that point. All right. So after we go through that, you want to think about the market. You know, some of you guys, if you are an existing business, you already know who you're selling to. You know, whether you did that market research before you launched or not, that can make or break your business as well. If you did not do any market research and you're just out here, you know, doing promo ads for any and everybody, you're selling your products to any and everybody. What has that done for you? You know, you kind of have to evaluate that because the purpose of doing your market research during the startup part of your business is to identify the perfect target audience. You know, you're not going to find the exact person that really wants to buy your product, but you're going to hit it pretty close, if not on the head. Um, and basically with that market research, you're, you're, you're reaching. You're doing all the research to figure out globally how big the market is. You're going to identify, you know, when it comes to a regional um, numbers, what does that look like? Who are you competing up against? Um, you're also looking at how much money is out there to be made in the industry. You're also going to narrow that down to figure out how much of that is my piece of the pie. You know, if it's globally a $10 billion industry, you know, what is it when it comes to my state? What is it that I'm competing against? Is it 500000 Is it 200000 You know, um, and you have to take that a little further as well. Think about... You know, the number of companies, you want to think about the number of employees, the number of entrepreneurs that's already in that industry. And that helps you get a little bit closer to identifying who you're going to be up against. Because if you don't know that, you're going to be hustling backwards for the most part, because you're not going to know if your products are better. You're not going to know if your prices are better. You're not going to know if your message is getting out there better. So it's best to stop what you're doing now, whether you're in a new business phase or the existing expanding business phase. 
You want to make sure you are prepared. So stop and pivot for just a couple of weeks or so and do that research that's necessary to give you the data that you need to grow <laughs> or the data that you need to even start. Because I'm trying to tell you, with that little small piece of information, your, your business or your brand can go much further than without it. Um, when you do that, you'll also get the opportunity to kind of do your own SWOT analysis. You'll be able to generally figure out, you know, what you're strong at, what you're weak at. And also you'll be able to identify what your opportunities and threats are out there because that is going to be very critical when it comes to you doing that market research because you want to analyze yourself as well. You know, what am I good at? What do I suck at? What do I need to get better with? You know, take yourself through that process for yourself and all of that is going to help you create your competitive advantage. Once you have identified the market um, and your competitive advantage, you pretty much got what you need when it comes to that market analysis perspective. Um, now you just need to figure out your money part of it. Basically, what's your budget? How much money are you allocating to this startup? Um, how much money are you allocating to this expansion? And you have to take it a step further than that. You have to think about what do I need to pay for now? You know, what my next few monthly expenses are going to be and what are my annual expenses? Once you figure that out, you pretty much got what you need to, to figure out what your break even point should be when it comes to figuring out how much to sell your products and services for. Um, you should also be able to project what you want to make month to month for the first 12 months. You know, that should be easy as long as you know what your products and services cost and you have that long term goal, meaning, you know, you want to make a million dollars in two years or you want to make 500000 in four years, whatever that, that goal looks like for you, you'll be able to plug that in and do some quick and easy do-it-yourself formulas. That's going to help you figure out my business worth, you know, for the first 12 months. It'll help you figure out what your business expenses are for 12 months. It's going to help you figure out all that from a financial perspective, and you start with just simple strategies. What do I need to pay for? What have I already paid for? What do I expect to pay for? Um, versus how much money I want to make um, versus how much money is out there on the market. There's just so much um, that you can do, but it all starts with some do-it-yourself research and calculations on your own. Um, once you figured that out, you've went through the market, you've talked about who you can target, take it a step further now. Now it's time to put all that together and figure out what is the best marketing strategy for you. You know, considering your long term goals, considering how much money you've created for the budget or how much you forecasted for your budget and also take into consideration the team members you need. You know, the market influence, meaning how much is out there, how many people you're going up against, how great they are, all that stuff. Now you're, it's time to sit down and figure out how to put that together to determine what marketing strategies you need. Do you need email marketing? Do you need social media marketing? You know, do you need video productions? Um, do you need to hire someone for content creation? All of that is kind of figured out by figuring out your long-term goals, figuring out who you're targeting, how much your money needs to be, basically. It will point you in the right direction. Um, and just starting out with some simple strategies, of course, are the text marketing. You have email marketing. You have social media marketing. Um, you have offline marketing, such as direct mailers, if you want to send your flyers through the mail to target people that way. Um, you have pop-ups that you can do, you know, locally, regionally, globally. There's pop-ups. Those opportunities are sometimes low cost. You know, it doesn't require you to buy a building or put up a billboard, um, but it's kind of like a great strategy you can utilize. There's not a one-size-fit-all strategy for anybody, for any industry. Um, there could be one strategy that works for everybody, but there's no cookie cutter plan A to Z that, you know, 100 companies can take and run with it. Um, only if you want to be competitive, you know, if you want to be average and all that, yeah, it will work. But if you want to make more money or if you want to stand out um, above those other 99, then you're going to do something different. You know, you don't want the same manual that they have. So it's best to sit down, do that research, figure out your finances, figure out who you need create those long-term goals and work your way back from there. Once you do all of that, basically you will be able to have your own little checklist to go through and make sure you've done everything you need to point you in the right direction to figure out what your best business strategy should be. Not just developing a great one, but what is the best strategy for your business? Email marketing may not work. You know, text marketing may not work. Whatever strategy you decide or determine is best, 
figure it out, you know, put it to the test, evaluate it to see the progress and see how it's doing. If it's working, keep doing it. If it don't work, stop and try something new. Um, so that's pretty much how you determine the best business strategy for your company, guys. So if you need to, if you record this, you know, stop it and go back and listen to it as many times as you need to. If you didn't, then come back and schedule for another webinar. <laughs> um, and we'll see you soon. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't click off just yet. I want to make sure they have heard about the big shebang. Big shebang, huh? Oh, the big shebang. I don't think they've heard. Well, go on, put them up on game then. All right. So our big shebang package is the upgrade to our VIP packages. And we know you guys know what that VIP package is. Oh, for sure. They've been selling like hotcakes, and you guys have been doing those consultations for it. So not only do we have the grand VIP package, but our big shebang is the upgrade in memberships to that. So you have the opportunity of choosing the diamond membership or the platinum membership. And what you get basically is once you purchase that VIP package and you upgrade, we do that grand launch party. We celebrate you. You get your grand lunch party complete with your champagne toast. You get your exclusive guest list. You get your own step and repeat banner with your logo that we just designed. Hello. So you get that. You also get gift bags. And every guest that you do invite, get those goodie bags as well. Um, if you want the six-month support, that comes with unlimited graphic design, unlimited services, basically, with your package. So if you need strategy help, if you need input, you need proposals, anything like that within six months, we got you. If you want 12 months, of course, I suggest you do 12 months because more bang for your buck again. But with our 12-month or our platinum package, you get 12-month support of everything. That's social media management and marketing that's your apparel printing whatever you need for 12 months we got you so that is our big champagne packages in a nutshell so if you need more information click this button above and follow that link at the swingagency.com at the swingagency.com see you online matter of fact i'm about to go lock my <laughs> I, think I, I think i rushed that